Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about an unique land which consists of a bunch of islands known as the Galapagos Island. The Galapagos Islands are a chain of islands or the archipelago in the eastern Pacific Ocean. They are the part of the country Ecuador in South America. The Galapagos lies about 966 kilometers of the coast of Ecuador. There are 13 major islands and a handful of smaller islands that make up the Galapagos archipelago. The largest of island is called Isabella. Repeated volcanic eruptions help to form the rugged mountain landscape of Galapagos. Scientists have studied this complex ecosystem for more than 180 years. British naturalist Charles Darwin, as you can see in this picture, may be the most influential scientist to have visited Galapagos Island. Darwin first came to Galapagos in 1835 on a ship called HMS Beagle. His observation of wildlife on the island inspired his theory of evolution by natural selection. Environment conditions make the Galapagos a unique island ecosystem. The Galapagos Islands are located near the equator, yet they receive cool currents. This makes for a strange mix of tropical and temperate climates. For most of the history, the islands have been extremely isolated. This combination of factors created a laboratory for the evolution of unusual mix of plants and animal species. The Galapagos are best known for the diverse array of plants and animal species. Many species are endemic, which means they are not found anywhere else in the world. This include the giant Galapagos tortoise. The name of the island derived from this tortoise. Here are the Maran iguana. The Maran iguana is the only iguana known to swim in the ocean. Here are the two Maran iguanas. Yeah, this is an interesting bird. These are the Galapagos mockingbird. The Galapagos mockingbird is endemic to Galapagos. These mockingbirds were important in Charles Darwin's development of theory of evolution by natural selection. This is the Galapagos penguin. The Galapagos penguin is the only penguin species to live in northern hemisphere. These are the bottlenose dolphins. These are the blue foot booby and finally this is the pelican. But introduction of plants and animals such as feral goats, cats and cattle brought accidentally or willingly to island by humans represent the main threat to Galapagos island. They are quick to reproduce and with no natural predators these alien species destroyed the habitats of native species. The native animals lacking natural predators on the islands are defenseless to introduce predators. There are over 700 introduced plant species today. There are only 500 native and endemic species of plants. This difference is creating a major problem for the natural species that inhabit them. The Galapagos marine sanctuary is under threat from a host of illegal fishing activities. In 2007, UNESCO puts the Galapagos Islands on the list of world heritage danger because of threats posed by invasive species. unbridled tourism and overfishing today i want to end this class by quoting robert swans saying the greatest threat to our planet is belief that someone else will save it and thank you everyone